Oh, hello. Okay, so do's and don'ts of product review. So obviously this can work back up all the way for videos and for photos. Um, I have another video on how to do really good product reviews. I did that in January. Um, it's on my YouTube channel or it can be searched in our group. I think you should type in product reviews. The live will probably come up. Okay, so start with the do's. Do show hello Lisa and talk about the product. Um, make sure you try it and describe it. So just saying like this is uh, always gonna love you. And this is Brazilian bombshell. Just saying that is not going to intrigue anyone to want it. It's not a product review. It's a product showing. It doesn't really um, review it. It doesn't really describe it. It doesn't really put them in the place where they feel like they're trying it. Um, if you do your product review right, they will feel like they have to. To have the product. If you describe it in the way it is, um, Brazilian bombshell is like being on a beach. It's fruity in a tropical way. Um, it's nutty. It smells amazing. The formula is always amazing. It's universal across all of the hand creams. Tell them why. Tell them what's in it. That's another part of this. So show it, talk about it, whether it's in your picture, um, in text or video. Try it and describe it. You definitely need to. You want to put them in the place of trying it. They want to. You want them to feel like they're there. Um, choose certain ingredients to talk about. Main thing in hand creams. Apricot kernel oil and coconut oil. It causes it to not make your hands greasy. It sinks into your skin really well. It keeps your skin super soft. The Ghana chunk. 25% shea butter. Most chunks have 3 or 4% shea butter. This one is smaller and it has 25% shea butter. So pick a few ingredients and talk about those ingredients. Um, one of the don'ts. Well, let's do do's and don'ts together. So do a show and talk about the product. Don't not show and talk about the product. Don't post generic graphics all of the time. Um, you're, you're your business owner. You want to post um, stuff with you so you want to make sure that you are the face of your business so do talk about them don't be generic do choose some ingredients to talk about don't choose all of the ingredients <laughs> all of the ingredients in the products I'm sorry but they're not important so to go on and on about this chunk so the main ingredient in it obviously is sodium palmate and shea butter. So if I went on and on about seed powder, uh, the red coloring that makes it its color, uh, iron oxides, you know those things, those aren't what gives you the experience. Those aren't what you're feeling on your skin. Those aren't um, main ingredients. So you want to pick a few ingredients you want to talk about the peppermint and the fact that this stick is shea butter. It's a shea butter stick with peppermint loaded into it. You want to describe how it smells like a really strong peppermint candy. You want to describe what it does. It can release headaches, pressure, sinuses. So make sure that you are um, talking about the ingredients but not overkilling the ingredients. Um, people tend to tune out, I know I do, when people start spouting off all the ingredients and talking about them. Pick some and hone in on those ingredients. Um, do recommend other things that 
can pair well with the products like if you love perk and you want something else that's pepperminty and refreshing you should try the bff face wash it smells very similar but it has grapefruit in it um if you want a bigger stick to relieve your neck pains go with just chillin so recommend some stuff to go with other stuff this especially works well with like face washes because you do want to create a regimen you do want to tell them at least a face wash a moisturizer and a mask and if they need more than that like they would like serums and stuff figure out what serums and stuff works with that regimen that you think goes best for them so um do recommend stuff do not just direct people to your website i know it's got information on it and i know it's easy if someone's like hey what is posh please don't answer with just your like link oh gosh no don't do that that is not personal that is not customer service because if you were to go into a store and you they said what are you looking for and you said i'm looking for coats do you think those people would just go they're somewhere in the store that's it no they're not gonna do that if someone asks you about hand creams don't just direct them to your website tell them about the hand creams tell them your favorite hand cream um offer to send them a sample and then then after you've covered what they are what they do how they feel how they smell etc then give them your website you don't want to just direct them straight to your website what is posh throw the link at them don't don't do that explain that it's naturally based pampering products um we use the best ingredients and we truly believe in taking some time for yourself even if it's just washing your face so make sure that you're creating an experience not just shoving your website on people to buy from you um let's see and that's about it the last thing i have is don't just show the products um oh i have another one don't just show the products you want to make sure that you are creating that experience um just saying sometimes sometimes it works to say oh this is my favorite hand cream to intrigue people but every time no not every time make sure that if you're doing a party or something make sure that you are intriguing them enough to want to try it offer samples just make sure you're getting it out there and i already forgot what the next one was i didn't write that one down uh i had it and now it's gone all right well let me look at my list oh do ask for reviews as well so you are reviewing the products um but you are also the saleswoman of the products so as much as people respect your opinion they will probably listen to your customers a little better because there's no bias so if somebody makes a post and tags you in it about how perk is their favorite and it relieves their headaches and they always carry a big fat yummy hand cream in their purse or this is the best chunk they've ever smelled it really does smell good <laughs> so if someone posts that and tags you especially their friends will pay attention but your friends will pay attention too so make sure you're asking for reviews and every sample pack that i post i or every sample pack that i send lord i have something in there that's telling them to review it and to tag me and then i will do a giveaway oh the thing that i uh forgot to write down but i remembered don't be afraid to talk about stuff that you don't like so i still sample things that i don't like i still tell people about things that i don't like 
Do I tell them that I don't like them? No. But am I super fake about it? No. So if someone asks me about Hot Mess Hand Cream, it's my most hated product um, ever. Ew. Um, so if someone asks me about Hot Mess Hand Cream, I don't go, oh, that thing is disgusting. Don't get it. I say it's very floral, um, more on the musky side. I personally am not a huge fan of musky scents, but my customers that do like musky scents, they love it. So I can send you a sample if you'd like to try it, and then you'll probably want to buy the full size if you like um, musky scents. Exactly. But I'm sure you still promote Vile. You still talk about Vile. I love it. But I know there are some consultants that don't love it. It doesn't work for them. Some people don't like lip stuff, and I don't either, but I like Vile. I don't like other lip products because they're drying and flaky and blah, and they come off. So, anyways, those are my do's and don'ts of product reviews. If you have any questions, as always, ask them down below. And I hope that everyone has a great night. Bye!